So, you probably have a lot of posts about AI in your feed. AI is taking over, AI is doing another task, AI is replacing people. Progress is unstoppable, right? But from the perspective of an engineer and a person who has been involved in startups for the last 15 years, everything looks a little bit different. More and more tools are appearing. The possibilities are getting better and better, but no AI can have a real context of the problem. Reality is given to us not only in texts, but also in sensations. The code base is not a project. The code base is a reflection of users' needs. Yesterday I saw a good illustrative example about this. Stable point aware reconstruction of 3D objects from single image. It's a, a new article from Stable AI. Probably you knew them like stable diffusion and so on. It reconstructs 3D images from a single picture. They beat all open metrics. And the examples on the site look really amazing. Just one image and you can reconstruct anything. But is it really so? Let's look at the dark side of the moon. It works pretty well here and here. But what about here? Or here? Or maybe here? And you know, these are just random pictures from my images folder. I didn't pick anything special, just take a few of them. What does, does it mean, you ask? Before uh, 1959, where the USSR received images from the dark side of the moon, the, there were many ideas about what could be there. Like in 1951, Arthur Clarke published a book in which he suggested that there was a monolith uh, for the trek in human civilization. You saw this in the movie 2001, A Space Odyssey. And uh, Robert Heinlein wrote a book in 1947 about a Nazi base there. Well, boring scientists thought that it may be the same like on the other side. But the Dark side of the moon context uh, depend on your goals. Who are you showing to? Uh, why you are doing it? What do you want to achieve? Will AI ever be able to reach this level? Maybe, but it requires a lot of work and we are not there yet. So, oh, my name is Anton and this is my YouTube channel about neural networks and stuff around them. Sometimes I do such videos. I hope you, I will meet you in the next one.